Now, when you was gone, your little brother started to get involved, G Weed, into music and and dealing uh, with them, dealing a lot of with in the music business. So, can you tell me what you were learning while you was in the feds? What your little brother was doing in terms of the music business? Oh yeah, um, you know I knew him and Kendrick was uh, was really close friends. Um, you know Kendrick, I remember Kendrick coming up to my barber shop on back in the days when I was a kid, hang, try to hang out, not get out of here. There ain't no hanging out up here, that type of stuff. This is before he was on. Yeah, this is before. If I knew he was on, I would have, <laughs> I would have signed him. <laughs> I remember them as kids, but um, from when I uh, start hearing about my brother, uh, when I was incarcerated, I was seeing him. I would see him on TV, seeing with Cardi B, and you know she really wasn't popping like that at that time. She was more like a reality star, and uh, you know, and then he they sent me pictures and. I didn't even know who the hell the Migos was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't know all of these guys and then uh, Drake, and I knew Drake, but you know what I'm saying? They sent me pictures of him and Drake, and I'm like, damn. And then a lot of the guys were coming to prison, and they like, yeah, man, your brother this, your brother that, and, you know? I, I, don't, I just, like, I don't know. I don't, you know, know too much about that stuff. Right now, your little brother, he's incarcerated out of state. Yeah. He got the same sentence I got, 135 months. Oh, so his case is over. Well, yeah, he got another uh, another case, but um, normally what they do is run them concurrent. So I'm just hoping they do the same thing. He gets something less, and they run it concurrent, and it'll be okay. But uh, yeah, he's, he's he's actually incarcerated right now in the feds. Now I remember he was out of town, and he actually got shot. Mm -hmm. And then shortly after he got shot, he got arrested. Exactly. As soon as they let him out the hospital. They let him do a day or two, and then they arrested him. So you think they was waiting? Oh, yeah. They were. They said it. I'm affiliated with a guy named Chico Brown. Chico Brown was on the Freeway Rick case. Now, Chico, he, um, he raised a boatload of money, and he's trying to give back by uh, making a, a music studio for the kids, you know, and basically, like, it's be free, really basically how to, to teach them to be... Um, engineers and and produce music and different stuff you know inside the music industry but what he was trying to do was acquire the properties from Com that Compton owns the city and he just go into them fix them up he don't want titles to them or anything he just want um, certain cities will let you uh, abandoned build and fix it up and and you have a like a, a long-term lease for pretty cheap or whatever because you didn't put so much money into their building so um, to make a long story short, uh, he was turned down because of his affiliation with Asia Brown, which there is not really a affiliation is with Asia. It's just that um, they feel that he, he had some type, that it, that it was her agenda when it wasn't. It was actually Chico's agenda. But they feel like, uh, you know, whatever, he has something to do. They feel like it's her. I, I don't know why they have a problem with her, but uh, you know when I had when I asked her to come out to certain stuff I give, she comes and show up or whatever, you know, and be nice to the people. She you know she don't like uh, want to get up there and talk and you know try to go overboard like most council people do. She just want to be like in like the family and just mingle and talk to people, hug and all of that kind of stuff, kiss the babies and all of that. Kind of stuff. So the Compton City Council and the mayor don't get along or something? They don't. Wow. But what happened was Chico Brown got a lot of brothers together, ex gang members, Crips and Bloods, and uh, who was who was pretty strong in the corrupt in the um, construction field. So that's who we used to build the places that he built and. Uh, he did a lot of stuff out of pocket, and then uh, with the, some of the funds that he uh, that he uh, that he uh, accumulated from donors or whatever, and to have it have this thing shut down, I mean, it's like why? You know, I don't get it. Yeah. But uh, if you listen to that tape, it was pretty much she saying that it's all because of who he deal with, and he deal with Asia. But how, how can you not deal with Asia? Wouldn't you want to go to the mayor? To, uh, if you're trying to get something resolved, or do you know, or to the council, I, I would think to go to the mayor. But 
come to find out the council is who vote things through. You're getting involved, I guess, quasi-politics in Compton a little I bit? I can't really say that I'm getting involved. I'm involved by force. It's just like gangbanging, you know? <laughs> Uh, my final words is, you know, let's uh, try to increase the peace. Instead of going to funerals, let's start going to graduations. And, uh, you know, blessings to all, you know. Yeah. Let's make it a black thing, a power thing, instead of a gang thing. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Like and comment below to give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related videos to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and listen to our weekly podcast, The Gangster Chronicles, every Thursday. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.